ladies and gents, Brian here with Team Manabees doing my uh, Nubatama deck that I just recently acquired, which is kind of standard because it's, you know, Nubatama. Uh, but let's go ahead and start off with our starter here, which is Stealth Beast K K Kuroko. Uh, the effect of her is when attack gets a Vanguard, the battle this unit boosted, I can Soul Blast one, and if I have a Nubatama Vanguard, I can pay the cost and choose one of my opponent's cards, oh, two, pardon me, choose two of my opponent's cards in the bind zone and then I can put them in the drop zone. So really good on pressure effect, especially the limit break, and then uh, with the other cards we're gonna talk about. Um, triggers, because we have no other choice, I would normally run four heals. So we're running four heals. I'm gonna run four draw, and then I'm gonna run four crit, and then sadly, because they don't have anything else, I'm gonna run four stand. It's cool, I mean, putting a soul get plus 3k is great, but um, this deck will be much more effective when we get more crits and more draws. Because right now, stands, especially if you have like a 9k Vanguard or something, yeah, doesn't really do too well. Moving on to the grade ones, we've got one, two, three, four of the Nubatama Perfect Guards, because, you know, things hit for big numbers. We've got one, two of the 8k Attackers, you know, from Red and Butter Nil. And then we've got one, two, three, four, Tempest Stealth Rogue Fuki. Yeah, I said it just so perfectly. Uh, this is Counter Boss 1, Putting a Soul. Uh, if you have a new Atomic Vanguard, and the number of cards your opponent's hands is greater than three. This has been errated. It's greater than three. I can pay the cost. If you do, choose a card at random from your opponent's hand, bind the face down, and of course, at the end of the turn, it goes back into their hand. Um, so, of course, that's good pressure with your starter. And then I'm running one, two, three, four. Stealth Dragon Dre Dreadmaster, yes. Uh, this is one of the original Nubatama cards that came out of way all the way back in BTO1. Uh, this is when an attack hits during the battle. This unit boosted, mind you, can hit anything, doesn't have to hit Vanguard. I can counterblast one, and if the cards in my hand are less than my opponents, pay the cost. And I, uh, opponent, chooses a card from their hand and discards it. So, really good on pressure because, again, it can hit anything. It doesn't have to hit Vanguard. It just hits Cannon Blast 1, and uh, it's good pressure. Because at some point, it's going to take a card out of hand. Either Guard or by Cannon Blast. So, it's really great. Uh, on the grade 2s, we're going to run 3 of the 10k Vanillas. Because it's an optimal ride to grade 2. And it's got a good body. It can hit for good numbers with the 8k Attacker on Crossrides. Then we're going to run... Four of Stealth Dragon Koyukujo. Yeah, awesome. This is one of the other people here that is with us who said it'd be quiet as me. Noisy! Noisy! Apologies. This guy, look at that. It was going so smooth, everybody. It's okay, we still love him. Uh, this is during your turn. When your opponent's card is placed into the bind zone, if you have a new Vanguard, this unit gets plus 2,000 till the end of turn. Uh, so this is during my turn. It's just when it happens, it's effective. So um, this does have to be on the field for that effect to go off. So that is the important thing when you break your ride. Um, it can't be after the fact you place it on the field. And it's 9k by. Um, then we're gonna run one, two, three, four of the bar, as I call it, because it's a bar. Uh, this is simple, 9k attacker. When this is placed on Vanguard or Rearguard, if I have a Nubatama Vanguard, I choose one of my opponent's Rearguards and bind it face up, and at the end of the turn, it goes back in the hand. So again, really good. Uh, early game pressure with the starter, and that's uh, pretty awesome. Um, then we're gonna run one, two, three, four, and they all are SP break ride. Um, this is our break ride, uh, of course, little break four. When a new Batama unit rises, choose your variant, it gets plus 10, and then your opponent chooses one card in his hand, discards it, and then chooses one card from their hand and puts it face down, binded to the side. And then, of course, at the end of turn, puts it back in the hand. Uh, the other effect is, when this unit attacks, if the number of cards in your opponent's hand is uh, three or less, I think that's been eroded to three or greater. No, this is three or less, pardon me. This has been eroded. This is three or less, it gets plus two. So it's 13, boosted by the 8K is 21. Pretty hot. Pretty hot. And then for our main boss monster here, which is, uh, don't even try to say his name, Sure Stealth Dragon, it's almost called. Uh, this ability is counter plus one. This unit attacks, you may pay the cost. You bind all of your opponent's rearguards face up, 
And if the number of cards in your opponent's buying zone is more than three, or three or more, it gets plus 10. So on a break ride, it's hitting for 31 if you fulfill that. And then the battle, put them back in the hand. Uh, act phase, kind of bust one, gets plus two. So it can be a 13K attacker if you'd like. So really good uh, little break turn. Can uh, devastate and take a lot of cards out of your opponent's hands and put lots of pressure. So anyway, that's the basic deck floor file on Nubatama. Sadly, not more support, but when they do, we will have um, more goodness like better triggers. Yay. All right, guys, thanks. As always, subscribe, rate, comment, and uh, give us love and share us to your friends and your family. See you guys.